Hey, it's Jamie here with Journey North. Got a couple new finds this week up here in Alaska. This little Boy Scout style hatchet. I can't find any marks on it, but it's in kind of rough shape. I assume by the handle, it's probably a east wing. The leather handle like this. It's dried out pretty bad. Peened over caps on it. I think what I'm going to try to do, dremel these off. Save this butt plate. Then we'll get some new leather spacers. There's some new leather and some different colored spacers in here. Never done one, so uh, it's going to be new to me as well. And then I think we're going to shine this one up a little bit just for the fact that it's uh, looks like it's pretty good steel. And I don't really care for the patina on it now, so shine it up and see what it looks like. But that's going to be later. Got this uh, Michigan style pattern. I gotta finish cleaning it up. I just trying to read that stamp there. It says three and a half, so it's a three and a half pound. Whoever had it was not the best aim in the world. It's pretty pretty chewed up. Heads loose. Other than that, handles just dried out. So I'm gonna see if I can salvage this just make it another user i'm gonna take the head off sand this handle down a bit re-oil it fill in some of these cracks and loose grains and then uh i think uh we'll do a wrap around here that'll look nice and uh get a little more use out of it like i said this is definitely not a collector head there's nothing special about it might even be a Chinese, you know, some kind of steel from over there. I have no idea. Um, it, I did put the grinder to it a hair on that edge. It did throw decent sparks, but uh, who knows? Well, let's see what we can make it look like. Like I said, the head's loose on here. What we can do is hammer this head back down a hair and see if I can get that round wedge pulled out with a vice grip. Or a chisel, something of that sort. Um, first, what I like to do is find just a decent hammer and some some kind of punch that fits in there, and see if we can just drive the handle out through the bottom. I just have it sitting in the sitting in the vise like this. So we'll we'll see what this does first, and if we gotta do anything other than that. Okay, it is moving, so we're gonna. We're going to keep going and see if we can just get it out to the bottom. Ah, I think we got her. There we go. Wrong wedge in there. We do got a crack right here. Um, I'm going to do some work on this and see what it looks like. See if we can salvage it or not. If not, we'll be getting a new handle for it. But uh, let's see if we can salvage it. All right. I'm going to head back to my cabin, get the wood stove roaring, settle in for the night, do a little work there. See you in a minute. All right, we're back in my little shop. A little bit better light in here so you can see this old used handle. It's a 36. A little dry rotted, I'm sure it's sat outside or in the shed, never been oiled, more than likely, common. It was dropped nice down on the shoulder, wasn't it? I mean, it could came down a little bit more, but not bad at all. A lot of missed strikes right here on it. Somebody didn't know what they were doing. Tired, lazy, hard to say. The main reason this one here came loose is that kerf. The, axe, the bottom of the axe, that way down here, and that kerf does not even go halfway. Ideally, it should be two thirds of the way down, maybe just a hair more, a hair less, but two thirds is a good mark to go with. Let's have a steel barrel wedge in there. They come in different sizes. I got a bunch of new ones here. It's 
These ones here, if you, if you make them proud on top and smash one of these and they'll never come off because that's it's a lot of a lot of mass going into them. These smaller ones usually do the trick. And you can get it real small. You can get the pencil size and smaller. These ones don't quite fit in, inside there. Then there's different size step wedges as well. Little ones. Get a little bit bigger. Then just drive in through the top. Put a wood wedge down the center of the curve, a, couple, a barrel wedge in the center, or like we did on here, two step wedges. You can see this pickaxe build. It's a two part. I'll try to link it up here in the corner somewhere. There's a head. I took the wire wheel to that. Couldn't find anything major other than, I don't know if you'll even be able to see right here. Three and a half and a little tiny A. Not sure what what that stands for. No other marks on it. Three and a half pound Michigan pattern. They're mostly felling axes. Pretty thin through there. They don't split great, but they'll do the job. Michigan's usually have the rounded corners here. Um, the one I made uh, a couple weeks ago for my son Cody, that was a Michigan pattern as well, on a used handle. So this should look somewhat similar. But, uh, I'm going to see if I can get that barrel wedge out, and we're going to cut that kerf deeper. Get set up for that and see what it looks like. Like pulling a tooth here. Which which I have done with this exact players on myself. I'm not paying a dentist three, four hundred dollars to pull a tooth. When I got a players that'll do it. They come out tight sometimes, just gotta keep working at them. Oh, there we go. That came out hard. I don't know if we're gonna be able to save this handle or not. We'll see how far we can we can drop it. If not, we'll uh we'll save this handle for a different project. Now let me do a little work and see what we come up with. I'm just going to drop this as far down on that little point, the shoulder, as we can, and see what it looks like. It's in pretty rough shape. I don't, I'm not, I'm leaning we're not going to be able to save it. But, uh, we're going to give it a shot. Can't, you can't run out and buy something every single time you think you need it. Especially if you're doing homesteading, off-gridding, or just trying to save a buck in general. I mean, this is American Hickory. It, it's going to be around for a long time. If we can get this, this head attached good, the rest of it will be fine. It might not look the, the prettiest out there, but I build users. If you want, uh, you want high-end axes, you want to spend the money for them. Or make them. Go right ahead. But I'm not much for, for just wall art. Usable wall art, yes. I keep working at this. Using the old draw knife. This one's the old Greenly. So just little bits at a time. We'll do some test fits and uh, see how far I can drop that and see if we can save it. Still got a little hole in there. Even after I chopped it down, I'm going to see if I can fill that with that wedge or not. 
I take her off one more time and get a little better fit. See if I can get that in there, not on that shoulder. There you go. Drop her just a hair more, see if we can fill that. Otherwise, over, we drop it a little more, it's going to be about a 34 inch handle. Feels nice. But, uh, see if we can save it. Stay tuned. Well, we started with an axe. It's all beat up, had a loose head, bad half to start with, shallow kerf, a little bit of rotten on the end there. We dropped it as low as we could on that shoulder. Tried to get to fill all the gaps and cracks. You know what? It'll do the job. Put a wedge in there, it'll probably hold for a few years. But you know what? I don't like it. Can't save them all. We're going to keep this chunk of hickory, though, in case we come across something with an oddball head, hatchet head, something like that. We'll make it work. Can't save them all. Well, that was kind of a sad day. I was hoping to, hoping to save that handle, but it's not a total loss. We're going to put a brand new hickory on this Michigan then. Make a damn nice all around axe. We'll do that in the future, but uh, I couldn't just let this handle sit here. I had to, I had to see what it would have looked like with, with what I was thinking with the, when they're old out like this, they get real dark. And I put some of that stain on there and just one coat of oil right now. I really like it. That sucker just looks old. The only mistake I made was I cut the end off. I threw it in my wood stove. And it smells freaking delicious in here right now, like hickory smoke. Getting kind of hungry. But that's going to be... I got an idea for this. There's two channels I've been watching lately. One's Will Patriot, where he's making these uh, rotor hawks, where he uses a piece of motorcycle rotor. Right up here. And uh, sharpens it up. And he's using Osage Orange and some other handles like that. But the other channel I've been watching. And uh, I have a really long last name that gets butchered a lot. It's got 13 letters in it. It's French-Canadian. And uh, there's a guy by the name of Jehahadek Maccabus. I'm hoping I'm close on that. But I'll put the link in the comments or description of his channel. And he makes some really wild tomahawks. Out of our recycled material. That's what we're going to do with this one. Old recycled piece of hickory. And uh, I'm going to do a little forging and see what we can find to make a tomahawk head out of. Whether it's just a more traditional piece of steel. A rotor. Uh, old saw blade. We're going to find something to do with it. But uh, I think it'll look cool. Be a nice new project. Sorry we couldn't save that one. I was hoping I'd make a nice video and resurrect an old one. And uh, it would have worked. It just uh, wasn't, what I, wasn't what I had in my mind, you know, what it would look like. It wasn't the fit I, I wanted. So uh, stay tuned for the future. We'll find something to do with this uh, piece of hickory. All right, guys. Take her easy.